Hey what's up YouTube, so I'm back again with another tweaks. In this video I have 10 CDA tweaks that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in today's video. Of course all those tweaks will be compatible if you're already on the Electra Jolibrig and I'm talking here about the iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.3.1 also the 11.4 beta 1 up to beta 3 before I'm gonna be start today's video I'll ask you guys to give the video a huge thumbs up and also make a short subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever I release a new tweaks video okay so I will be start right now and jump in talking about the first tweak that I have for you guys the compatible mark here what it does is when you want to download the tweak if I want to go right now to my tweaks section you might see right now there is a small tiny marks in every single uh, tweak that I have on my device here even the one that I already download so let me just get back here to show you even the one that I already download there is a marks right in front of it that's mean the tweak it's actually compatible with your device and you can download the tweak and sometimes it giving you a different kind of color mark that's mean the tweak is not tasted yet or the tweak is not working and it's not compatible with your device this is what pretty much the tweak will be providing you with so it will be uh, let you know the tweak will be work or is not work which is really will be useful if you want to download that tweak on your device so pretty much this is what Compatamark will be providing you know, with once you want to install that tweak in your jailbroken device highly recommend you guys to give it a try if you want to the Compatamark next week I will be talking about the CC clear Madios BJ and what is that tweak will be providing you with what it does is once you want to install the tweak in your device it will be giving you a uh, control center Madio clear and is giving you a smooth and nice looking if I want to jump right now and showing you guys how the control center will be working after that how it always looks like after I download the tweak you might see right now here my control center it's really blurry and clear nice and smooth and this is the way of that week once you want to install it in your device if I want to jump right now under the settings here you might see right now First of all, you need to enable the tweak and also we have the options section, one single option, which is if you want to toggle the bit clear modules from there. Also, you need to make sure once you uh, figure all those options, go ahead and resupring your device. So your device will be apply all the changes. So this is the way about the tweak. Once you want to install that tweak in your device, as I show you guys, the control center is really beautiful and nice for most the people. Highly recommend you guys to give it a try. The CC Clear Madios BJ. The next CD tweak, I'll be talking about the hide the status bar items. So once you want to download that tweak, that tweak will be allow you to uh, move some items from your status bar. If we go ahead right now and jump under the settings to so talking about most of the things here. Okay, so if we jump right now under the settings, we have the options here. So you might see right now. And if I scroll down here, as you might see, there is a lot of configuration here if you want to go through one of the things you need to do right away enable the tweak so this is going to be the first toggle in the top and also if you want to hide uh, the most items you have in the status bar which is the time the airdrop the animation the uh, signal the carrier and also we have the wi-fi the battery the battery indicator the bluetooth the alarm and location so you can go through all of those that tweak will be allow you to hide most all those items from your status bar if you want to do that just make sure once you toggle any one of these just you need to make sure to apply all the changes resupring your device and your device will be take the effect and this is the way of that week once you want to install it in your jailbroken device so pretty much this is the hide status bar items and this is what the tweak will be provide you after you install it in your device make sure to give it a try hide the status bar items 
the next CD tweak, I will be talking about the placeholder. What it does is most the developers, when they created their tweaks, uh, sometimes they, the tweak came without icons. So this is what the tweak will be provide you with. So once you download the tweak, that tweak will be place an icon for you, which is I'm talking here pretty sure under the settings. So if you go right now under the settings, you will see right now most the tweaks, it comes with the icons on it after you download that tweak in your jailbroken device. Which is for me, in my opinion, I like that more and much better than you have a tweak and there is no icon right in front of it. So this is pretty much what the tweak will be provide you with uh, after you download it in your device. Make sure if you want to, to give it a try, placeholder. The next CD tweak, I'll be talking about the full folder 11. And that tweak, once you want to install it in your device, will be provide you once you want to launch your folder. That folder will be edge to edge full screen in your device. If I want to show you guys how is that going to be looks like, let me launch one of the folders that I have on my device and you might see right now the folder will be uh, on the full of the screen and this is the way about that tweak once you want to install it in your jailbroken device. Also, if you want to jump under the settings, there is some stuff if you want to configure after you download the tweak in your device. So the first thing, if you want uh, to disable the folder name, once you want to launch the folder, it will be up to you. So we have that option. And also we have the auto close folder. You can toggle that if you want to. Also, we have the folder style. So if you want to, you can go through some options here. And the other option, we have the hide folder label so you can toggle that if you want to also we have the folder layout so you can choose the way for the layout in your device of course this is will be different some people they use the 5s the screen will be different than the iphone 7 for example or the 8 or the iphone x so you can choose the folder layout from an air also the other option we have the icon up down or you can choose the location for your icons also we have a two sliders you can adjust those and this is the way about that week if you want to configure some stuff under the settings just make sure to respring your device after you respring your device your device will be take the effect and this is the way about the folder 11 on your device so pretty much this is the most things about the full folder 11. Once you want to download the tweak in your device, highly recommend you guys to give it a try. Really beautiful full folder 11. Next one, I will be talking about the buy separator cell. So what it does is once you want to download the tweak, that tweak will be remove all the space in between the icons, which is the one on the cell on the system wide, which is the settings. And if I want to go ahead right now and jump under the settings to talk about how that looks like. So you might see right now most of the things that I have here, most of the icons and every single thing here, I have it really beautiful and there is no separator in between the tweaks or the apps on my iDevice. And if we jump right now under the settings here, so the first thing you need to go ahead and enable the buy separator cell. And also we have another options, which is if you want no separators, you can toggle that. And also we have another option if you want no selection highlights. So you can toggle those, make sure to just reciprocate your device. So your device will be take the effect. And this is the way of about that week. So as I show you guys what the tweak will be provide you with. So if you like, go ahead and download the buy separator cell. The next one, I will be talking about the magic patches. And what is that tweak? I think the name just explained himself. So if I want to go right now to showing you guys, how is it the badges that I have on my iDevice? How is it looks like? So you might see right now most badges on my iDevice. It looks different so once you use that tweak and that tweak will be provide you with a lot of configuration stuff under the settings 
So once you jump under the settings, go ahead, first of all, and just toggle the enable button here. And also we have the general. So once you tap on the general, we have here some stuff so you can uh, go ahead and configure those stuff here. Also, we have the color section here so you can toggle uh, the your favor option from in there and you will be uh, see most of the things here in the top, which is I really like it on my opinion. Also, we have here in the bottom most the options, which is if you want to uh, place it or if you want to fix the size, you can just go ahead and toggle that. Also, if you want to switch the font, you will be able to do that with that tweak here. So there is a lot of and ton of fonts here. You can choose your favorite font from in there. And also we have the badge so you can choose the default and also we have some other way of that badges so you might see right now here that there's a ton of stuff you can configure that from in there this is about the badge and font the fixed size and this is the way about that tweak once you want to install it in your device so as i show you guys and as we talking about the magic badges here really beautiful nice tweak if you want to install that tweak in your device highly recommend you guys to give it a try if you want to the magic badges Next one, I'll be talking about the hood customizer. This is a really beautiful, nice tweak to download it into your device. So first of all, let me show you guys how is the hood and after I customize my hood, how is it looks like on my device. So you might see right now here, how is it looks like the animation, most of the things you can configure those from under the settings. So let's go ahead right now and jump under the settings. First thing you need to go ahead and enable the tweaker form in there. And also we have more than section. I'm not going to be going through because I can't cover uh, most of the things on that tweak. There's a ton of stuff here, but you can go ahead and configure most of the things here. For example, here you might see there is a lot of configuration of stuff, but here one of the things which is for my hood, I already go through the border color. So you can go ahead and just tap on that. You can pick your favorite color from in there also we have the content section here you can go through and you might see right now there is a lot of toggles here so you can uh, go ahead and choose your favor and also we have the position here so you might see mine i use the bottom and you can configure that from there from the uh, position section and also we have the background so you can go through and also you can remove the background if you want to on your hood and also one of the things that I already changed here, which is going to be my primary color. I already changed that. And also here we have the level two color. I already changed that. So you might want to do the same thing. You can just pause the video or if you want to configure that by yourself. Also here we have the animation. Uh, if you want to go to that section here so you can uh, see a lot of different kind of stuff you might want to go through the one that I already picked for mine which is uh, you can see right now show animation here which is the zoom in I like this one uh, really beautiful in my opinion so if you want to pick the same option it's going to be up to you or a different kind of option and this is the way about that week once you want to install it in your device Anyway, so as I show you guys about the hood customizer, really beautiful and nice tweak if you want to customize your hood. Highly recommend you guys to give it a try if you want to the hood customizer. The next one I will be talking about the respring animation here. And this is actually a theme. You can go ahead and download this one. You might, if you want to use it, you can use the anemone if you want to enable that in your device. So after you finish downloading the tweak, go ahead and launch your anemone here and you might see the pack will be here. Just go ahead and tap on it here. You might see there is a lot of different kind of stuff. You can set those once you want to respring your device, you will be see that animation will be in your device. So this is the one that I already picked, which is the one that I'm going to be showing you guys right now if I want to respring my device. So to showing you guys the way if I want to respring my device, you can see right now, which is really beautiful in my opinion. And also as I show you guys, you can choose a different kind of style from under the anemone. 
So as I show you guys and talking about the respring animation here, really beautiful, a nice tweak if you want to download it into your device, really beautiful, highly recommend you guys to give it a try if you want to respring animations. Next one I will be talking about the lock anim here. What it does is once you want to download the tweak into your device will be provide you with a beautiful animation once you want to lock your device. So if I want to go ahead right now and showing you guys how is it looks like if I want to lock my device. So this is the way how is it looks like after you download the tweak and also we have some other style if you want to pick that up from these settings. Okay, so we are right now under the settings. First thing, go ahead and enable the tweak. If you want to choose the way of your, how you want to lock your device, so you can go ahead right now and jump under the, uh, the animation section here. So you have the resize to center and we have the pull up. We have pull down, pull left, pull right. And also we have the broke TV or the TV off and also we have the resize to center so you can pick the option that you like from near and this is the way about that week and this is the only configure stuff that you want to do after that just go ahead and make sure to apply most the changes go ahead and resupring your device so your device will detect the effect and go ahead and enjoy with that week so as I show you guys, this is the way about the lock animation. This is the way how you can set the tweak on your device. Highly recommend you guys to give it a try if you want to the lock animation. So there you go guys, this is the most beautiful and new tweaks that has been just released. As I told you guys, if you already on the Electra, those week will be compatible. Of course, if you already run the iOS 11.x up to iOS 11.3.1, also the 11.4 beta 1 up to beta 3. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you will be notified whatever I release a new tweaks video. Catch you with the next one. Peace.